Hi, welcome back everybody, here we are again. Now let's do the following integral which is x times square root 1 minus 3 times x squared. Right, for doing this integral, well, first thing we have to realize here is that um, the derivative of x squared here, it's here, right, if we have the x dx. So if we propose um, something like, let's see, 1 minus 3x squared equals to t squared, for instance. Um, if we're going to differentiate here, we'll have, immediately we'll see we'll have something like, well, the derivative of this, respect x is minus 6x, now dx, and then we have the derivative t here is 2t, t, dt. So that means that, look, x dx, it equals to minus t dt, over 3. Okay, so look that here we have x dx. Okay, and then here we have this, which we are proposed. We are proposing that equals to t squared. So life is much easier now because look, we can do here. We put in yellow. We can we can have here. Well, square root of this is the square root of t squared. Okay. And now, look that x dx it equals to, I put here, t dt over 3. Okay, so, well, let's put the 3 out of the integral, right, and the minus as well. And we'll have this, okay, the t square comes out of, of the square root as well, so we'll have t times t dt, okay, and that equals to minus 1 over 3 integral of t squared dt. Okay? So look, we had this integral and now because of this change we have proposed, this is the substitution method, right? We have a much much easier integral which is the integral of t squared dt. And this is a direct integral, isn't it? So we can put this like this, one third, this is one third of now you know the integral of t squared this is just for you to remember that integral of x power to the n dx this always equals to x power to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, right? plus the constant c. This always as far as n is not equal to minus 1 you know perfectly this, okay? So we come back to yellow, to yellow, and we finish. We are we are just finishing the exercise, right? So t squared, right? It equals the integral. I mean, it equals to x now power to the two plus one. It's equals three, right? And over three plus the constant. So if we do this, right? Sorry, th there was. There was a big, big mistake here. You, you had also seen it. This is not x but t, right? So it's t power two three over three plus the constant. So this, at the end of the day, this means one over nine minus one over nine t three plus the constant. So what, what can I have to do here just to to finish the exercise? We have to come back to the x, we have t and we need x, right? So remember, t equals to, let's put here, t equals, well, let's put, let's put it in, um, sorry, let's put it in, uh, in blue, that's better here. I want to do here t equals to, now, 1 minus 3 times x x squared, sorry, power to the one half, right? So, knowing that, came back to yellow now, and we are going to finish the exercise, right? Because this will be equals to minus 1 over 9. Now, t, we said that we can put like this, right? 3x squared, and now 1 half, but we have to power this to a third, right? So, we have a 3 here. So that means, well, this is the result. We can we can do this on full y, which is 
three x squared and then power to the three over two plus the constant. So here is the result. This is the answer we were looking for. Uh, you, you've seen it's uh, really easy if we realize that this change will make us will life much much easier. It leads to this other this different integral which is much easier than the initial one. Then it's just operate and operate, so well, just uh, easy things, right? Well, hope you you have learned a little bit more about integrals today, as well as you have practiced your English. Well, we'll see you again in the next lesson. Bye bye.